Tonight, investigators are once again facing a fight in their efforts to get to the bottom of the tragic death of a 15-month-old boy. The person putting up the fight is the child's own mother. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams first raised questions about this case almost a decade ago. And this is the second time that the mom has opposed efforts to exhume the little boy's body. Now, 14 years after Jeffrey Kelton Skagg's mother successfully blocked another effort to get a second autopsy, she now says prosecutors have waited 14 years too long. More than a decade after Jeffrey Kelton Skaggs' death, the legal battle once again focuses on this grave, a grave that prosecutors argue could yield new clues about whether the blow to the head that killed the 15-month-old boy was really an accident. But in this new court filing, an attorney for Jeffrey's mother opposes the state's petition for disinterment, arguing that if the state ever had a real belief that foul play was a factor, then the state would not have waited 14 years to reopen this cause and to disrupt the grave and body of this child. Sorry, now, Mom, one, where's your emergency? As News Channel 5 investigates first reported, Jeffrey lived here inside this Murray County trailer with his mother and her boyfriend when, according to the family, he fell off the bed and hit his head. EMS crews rushed him to Murray Regional Hospital, then he was flown to Huntsville, where he died. The medical examiner, Dr. Charles Harlan, who later lost his license for incompetence, declared the death an accident. It was an opinion that was questioned by then state medical examiner Bruce Levy. We had injuries that didn't match the stories, the multiple stories provided, the stories that changed over time. And former TBI director Larry Wallace. We felt it was never fully investigated. But when the state tried to exhume Jeffrey's body back in 2001, his mother convinced the judge that such a request was illegal because it did not have the backing of then DA Mike Bottoms. So what about this little boy? What, what if you're wrong, sir? Bottoms stood with his friend Charles Harlan despite the findings of Tennessee's medical board. The child's actual manner of death was a result of non-accidental trauma. Meaning? Meaning that in the judgment of the authors of this article, um, it was a homicide. Murder. It was murder. Uh, I'm just the type of person that uh, I just don't believe in, in letting someone just walk away from a crime uh, if I believe they committed a crime. After Brent Cooper replaced Bottoms last fall, he reopened the investigation. The new DA now wants a second autopsy. Still, the attorney for Jeffrey's mother tells the court that he, quote, prays that this child be permitted to rest in peace and that this mother be left alone to continue to grieve for the loss of her son. The prosecutors argued in their petition that the mother and her boyfriend told inconsistent stories about what really happened to Jeffrey, but her lawyer tells the court that she, quote, absolutely denies that she did anything to cause harm to her child. Of course, the next step is a hearing before a judge who will make a decision about what's going to happen. All right. Thanks, Phil. Rory?